In this session we will be installing EKS CTL. EKS CTL is Amazon's command line tool for creating and managing EKS clusters. This is substantially simpler than using the web interface, especially as Kubernetes administration is primarily done from the command line, so large amounts of this installation is required even if you create your cluster using the web interface. We'll be using the Ubuntu version of the Windows subsystem for Linux, which we learned how to install earlier in this course. The commands used to do this are included in our, in our code example repository to help you follow along. The first thing you need to do is to install the AWS CLI. So if we open up our terminal and type sudo apt install AWS CLI. Once that's done, we'll need to create a user to access it. So the next thing we need to do is go to the management console, go to IAM, select users, and add user. Give it a descriptive name, I'm going to say AWS CLI, and we want to select programmatic access. We will then want to attach the administrator access to the policy. Hit next, hit review, and create user. We'll want to download this CSV to make sure that if we need to access these credentials again, we've got them, we've got a record of them. Once you navigate away from this page, you will never be able to see the secret access key again. So it's good to keep a record of it. To configure the CLI, if we go back to our console and type AWS configure. And then we then want to add our access key. So if we go here, copy this, and right click to paste. And then the same for the secret access key. and then we will set a default region. We're going to use EU West 1. Only a few regions have access to Fargate using EKS and EU West 1, which is in Ireland, is one of them. And then for the output format, we're going to use JSON. Once done, run AWS EC2 describe regions to check that it's working. You should see something like this. Now we've got a working version of the AWS CLI. If we go back to our code examples, we can see the instructions to install EKS CTL. So copy this curl command, which will download the latest version of EKS CTL. And then this move command, which will move it into user local bin, which will add it to our path. And if you type EKS CTL version, you should see the version number appear if it's been installed correctly. The next thing we need to do is to install kubectl. We do that with this curl command first. Again, we're downloading a binary. Uh, we then want to make it executable. So if we type schmod plus x, and then kubectl, and again, if we move it to user local bin, so sudo mv kubectl to user local bin. Let's try kubectl version. There we go. Finally, we need to install the AWS IAM Authenticator. This is used by EKS to grant your local IAM role 
access to your EKS cluster. So again, we will be downloading a binary using curl. So we copy this. We then make it executable in much the same way. So that's mod plus x, and then find AWS IAM Authenticator. You can copy these commands from here if you'd like. And then sudo, that's actually I should probably use them. And we should check that that's been installed. So AWS IAM Authenticator, and that works. So if we have version, we can see that's been installed correctly. So you should now be ready to use EKS CTL to manage your EKS clusters. And I hope to see you in the next session.